I don't know if this collection will always stay intact, but what's been really nice about this particular collection is when it was put together was well before the internet. I'd say maybe 10% of my bikes have been bought online. They've been bought in the 80s and in the 90s where you had to hunt, you had to network, you subscribed to magazines, you had to seek these things out, you had to flush them out. Back in a day and age where things were 25 years old and now coming out of the garage for the first time. The focus has been on originality and condition that has always been my watermark, so to speak. Hey, Brian. Yeah, David, good to see you. It's so good to yeah, be back yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Thanks so you much for having us You always seem to, to enjoy this little garage, David. I think you in particular. Oh, I do. I mean, I think I came here 15 years ago, and you opened the door to this, and like you, I'm a Honda guy, and I, there's not a Honda collection like this in the world anywhere well, I think that I know there of. there is, but, but uh, at least uh, not anywhere nearby, certainly. Yeah. <laughs> So what we have here is essentially, if you will, a collection of Honda motorcycles. Honda started in the United States in 1959 with just a small handful, three or four dozen dealers. Uh, the motorcycles in here range from 1959 through the mostly mid to late 70s. Any bikes later than the late 70s would be bikes of what I call of significance, rarer or somewhat important bikes. To okay, own. let's go. Sometimes it takes a woman to get things moving. She knows there's only one way to make decisions like I this. I just remember, you know, you talk about triumphs, and then all of a sudden you saw these ads. You know, as you meet the nicest people on a Honda, and your parents weren't afraid of them, and they saw girls on them, and they were, they were like this. Mm -hmm. And now the step through Cub, which is the 50cc, essentially that, it's the number one selling motorcycle in the entire world to this day. And you know, Honda made a point back then to not use the term motorcycle. Because you met the nicest people on a, on a Honda. Honda. You meet the nicest people on a Honda. World's biggest seller. And it showed uh, pictures of secretaries driving them, showed yeah. them on college campuses, showed them people going, people going to work on the things. Yeah. Uh, and um, there's it really paved a way for a lot of today's motorcycle riders. I, can, I cannot tell you how many people are Harley riders will tell you my first bike was and it was a Honda 90, a Honda 160, because what happened... They need to go back to Honda. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> I was actually quite familiar with Hondas because I was born in the, if you will, mid to late 50s. A lot of people born in that era and even earlier uh, grew up on Hondas in the 60s and 70s and so forth. It was, uh, for many people, their first experience in something with a motor that they could give, feel a sense of freedom and out and about. And Hondas were pretty reliable, pretty easy to operate, and I tell you, you essentially never saw anybody that went for a little ride on a Honda that didn't come back with a smile on their face. People saw them as small little motorized mechanisms. And, you know, the next thing you know, your neighbor two doors down had one, and he was gushing about it. And he'd say, David, ride it. No, go ride it. And David would ride this thing around the block three times, come back with a smile on his face. Yeah, and think, this is great, man. Yeah, yeah. The most gratifying part in putting together this collection has been the expression on people's face. And when these garage doors open and people are happy to see a couple of more Mustangs or Camaros or 57 Chevys or a little 190 SL, whatever it is, but they just aren't expecting to see something like this and someone will want to tell me a story. You could ride a bike like that, which I did, from Chicago to Boston, you know, overnight. Now you were dead when you did, yeah. but it would do it. Yeah. Yeah. I know you love all these bikes, that it's a fabulous collection, but there has to be one that really puts a smile on your face that's your favorite. 
Well, of course, it's always the early ones, the ones you've had the longest, the one you've ridden, the one that, you know, kind of started it. So the 305 Scrambler, absolutely fantastic. Believe it or not, that was a trade-in about 25, 30 years ago at Aurora Suzuki. <laughs> I went in there and the guy did not want to sell it. And finally he says, well, if you buy this one and this one, I'll sell them to you. You so, bought both? Yeah, so I just sold the other one. <laughs> so in here, David, we have the, the dirt bikes. Ah. How you get started. <laughs> That's where it started for a lot of folks. My favorite kind of riding is off-road, because uh, simply where, where the pavement ends, and this is kind of um, some of the great things about off-road bikes, they can just take you places that you otherwise would be unable to go. I'm really very fortunate to be able to live and swim and so we have some land and be able to have my collection at my residence is something that I, I recognize as quite unusual. Um, if I remove from here, um, I won't be able to have a, a, a collection on a piece of property like this. But let me say it's just been a great place to raise a family as well. I mean, we haven't even covered your car collection, which is astounding, but we're really um... Well, David, We're you're proud to honor you as a master collector this year because you exemplify what we want to be, and that's you know a true believer, a true car guy, bike guy, who shares, tells stories, has fun. There's no snootiness about it. You know, it's just real. And I thank you. Um, I'm well, just delighted. Thanks to your organization too, that make no mistake, is really an important museum here in the Northwest. And it's been my Thanks. pleasure, and it's, it's, it's my honor, really, to, to, to do what I can to help you guys along as well. It's a good one. Thanks, friend. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good to see you.